our tale of the tape for this strawweight fight. The veteran voice of the Octagon, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC strawweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, Mackenzie Dunn! And now introducing her opponent, fighting out of the red corner, Keisha the Tiny Tornado of Torres! You ready? You ready? Go. All right, here we go. Another big night for the MMA leader from Las Vegas, Nevada's T-Mobile Arena. There's been a lot of seminal moments in this building. I think it was one. It was a big one for me at UFC 226. But John, also UFC 200. I got to stand across the cage from Anderson Silva in that arena. This is a place where big fights happen. And tonight, we get to stand amongst the legends at the T-Mobile Arena. Nice takedown defense there, and if you are looking to avoid a floor fight with a jiu-jitsu ace like this, you gotta have takedown defense. Hers has been short up, to be sure. She told us she'd be able to defend. She did a great job of recognizing the level change, defend before it got started, and now she's still on her feet. Seemed like she wanted out of the clinch there. All right, so a storyline okay. developing. You see a cut okay. has been opened around her eye. She's got a cut on her eye. She's been getting hit in that same spot. The cut's nothing too big right now, but if she doesn't protect it, it'll get a close. Inside leg kick is there by Torres. And both fighters exchange in the pocket. All right, so with immediacy, the jiu-jitsu fighter. Oh, guillotine, guillotine here. This is tight. <laughs> oh, great submission defense as she gets out. There's a takedown attempt by her again. Not a great entry. What is the other beating have to say? She has to mix it up. She has to trick her opponent to go to the spot that she wants if she's going to get this fight where she needs it to be. Oh, a nice inside leg kick landed there by Torres. Just out of range with that right hook. Torres gets tattooed with that hook. On the shot, there you go, single leg. Nice give to the tip here. It's, it's tight. Oh, great submission defense. Torres is back in full guard now. Can't get it, good awareness by the defensive fighter. She is so dominant from the top position. Big grind pound. Dern's cheek looks like it's cut. Yes, it is starting to bleed a little bit now. Well, pretty good work off of the bottom here by Torres. Big elbow there, Lance. Continuing to stay busy here on the ground. Under two minutes in round one. Yes, yeah, smart adjustment, yep. Oh, lands with the ground and pound strike. And there it is, another strike. Gets through on the ground. Turns back and... She is reading things pretty well defensively as she's able to dodge that strike on the ground. She's got her eyes open and she's very aware of everything coming in her direction. Continuing to work out of the half guard. Oh, looking for the submission now. Ooh, that Kimura looks tight. Oh, she got out. How good is that? Oh, what a strike from her there out of that bottom position. She is offense all the time. So look at this, DC. She's got her in rubber guard. I know we've seen a lot of Eddie Bravo pupils employ this with pretty good success in the UFC. What are you trying to do, though, here after that fight? If I'm in the rubber guard, I'm trying to really slow you down and hope that you make a mistake so I can get off one of those submissions that will always keep you on the highlight reel. A go-go plata, an obo plata, just things that we don't see much, but when they happen, everybody loses their minds. 
Outstanding grappling battle, and now back to the feet. Huge response from the crowd. We'll see who has the advantage here. Big response from the crowd. They appreciate high-level mixed martial arts, and it's exactly what they just got between these two young women. Seconds here. Trying to hammer that lead leg. Oh, nice level change. Oh. Round two next. Yes, sir. Yes. All right, so there's the horn indicating the end of the round, but not before damage was done. She was cut on her cheek from the strike in that round, and now the focus for the cut man shutting that thing and making sure it doesn't become a factor here moving forward. Well, her eye is really in trouble now, and you know the opposition's gonna continue to target it. We'll see what they can do with these 60 seconds. Better than seeing the damage on your opponent's face. And if couldn't defend before, she's gonna have to be real good on the defensive side this time, because now her opponent would be even more aggressive seeing the damage on her face. Ready to fight? Ready. Go. All right, round two. Looking at an epic comeback here. She rocked her significantly, but wasn't able to finish the fight, and now her opponent maybe creeps back in. Her opponent will now try to find a way to run her way back into the fight. It will be on her to once again land on her. Attempting a choke now. Ooh, look out, that thing is tight. It's advancing, she's about to finish. Oh, under the chin here. Could be the end. And maybe it's going to do it. Oh, she got out. What a beautiful display of submission defense by this young lady. Take her back. Trying to set up a rear naked choke. First order of business. Take the back. She's got it. It's starting to slide under the It's going. It's done. result here tonight. She scrambled well in this fight, and she had to exercise some patience there a little bit, but once she found an opening, the tap came shortly thereafter. Bruce Buffer is in the octagon with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at one minute, three seconds of round number two. For the winner, by submission, Mackenzie Bell! Well, really nice to see this young woman get a chance to exhale as she celebrates with her coaches. You've won world titles in two divisions, but you're not calling your shot the way she is. She said, I'm going to win this fight by submission, and it goes into the books just that way. That's so much confidence to put yourself...